Hey everyone, AC19 is here with another Star Wars Clone Trooper review for you. This is of the 30th Anniversary Collection uh, number 2, Galactic Marine. So this is the Ultimate Galactic Hunt version. You got this fancy Boba Fett sticker, as well as the gold coin and gold kind of on the packaging here. So this is the Galactic Marine, and it comes with this blaster and this backpack, uh, and it's from Revenge of the Sith. Let's turn the box around, and I will read the blurb about the Galactic Marine. Clad in armor and uniforms designed to maximize combat efficiency in hostile environments, the Galactic Marines are the Republic's frontline forces and often take on the most formidable opponents. After the issuance of Order 66, a squad of these troopers betray and shoot down Jedi Master Ki Adi Mundi on Megiddo. Bummer for Ki Adi Mundi. So, this is what it, the box looks like. Let's open this figure up. <clears throat> Alright, so here's the little paperwork. Shows you all the other figures. Or at least two of the other figures. As well as... Here's the coin. So it has our Galactic Marine on the front. It says Galactic Marine, Clone Trooper, 30th, as well as number 2. And the back has the Galactic Republic logo. Which looks very similar to the Empire logo. But it says Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, as well as 1977 to 2007, hence the 30th anniversary. And try not to break the weaponry. The backpack, and here is the Galactic Marine. Now, I really like this because it, it looks nothing like the other clone troopers. He's wearing a purple cape. He, I mean, this doesn't look like your normal everyday run-of-the-mill clone, which that is what attracted me to it. Let's put the backpack on. There we go, and I believe the helmet does come off. Yes, it does. Let's not force it, though. There we go. There's his helmet. He is also wearing the shoulder pauldron, which I believe can also come off, but looks really cool where it is. So, um, limit a little bit limited mobility because of this, and maybe not really. No, not really. It was probably just because he's holding his weapon. So, uh, head is head is articulated, shoulders, elbows, wrists. Not really the torso, because he is wearing this very long kind of skirt thing, a comma. As well as not super articulated in the legs, but I mean it works. Um, articulated in the knees and the ankles. So, basically this is kind of like the predecessor to the snow trooper, honestly, is kind of what it looks like. But it's cool because it's purple. and. It kind of stands out. They did a good job of distressing the skirt. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it a skirt. Um, and this backpack, it looks very distressed. Like, they see a lot of combat, which they do. As well as the boots are very well distressed. And you can really see the details that went into this sculpt um, throughout this figure, especially on the boots. There's, like, this little belt here has, like, a little bit of a texture. I mean, this is an awesome figure. And he just looks so cool. There we go. With his helmet on. That, that's a formidable looking opponent. I'd be kind of scared if someone was walking towards me that looked like this. So, this is the um, 30th anniversary. Number 2, Galactic Marine. <laughs>